Whisper to fulfill his promise of draining the DC swamp. Infowars.com reports, the confirmation of Kavanaugh to the U.S. Supreme Court is the key to getting this done in a timely manner, which explains why the deranged left is going to such outrageous extremes to fabricate false allegations against Kavanaugh and stage-coordinated, well-funded protests to try to block the U.S. Senate from confirming him. Once Kavanaugh is on the court, it will add the necessary support for constitutional emergency powers that concentrate power in the executive branch of government, currently headed by President Trump, during times of war and national emergencies. Fact, the United States has been operating under a state of declared war since September, 2001, following the 9-11 attacks. Fact, the United States has been operating under a declared national emergency signed by President Trump, since December 20, 2017, see proof document, below. In this detailed video analysis, I lay out the evidence for President Trump's plan to issue mass arrests of deep state traitors, then try them for treason under military tribunals. This is justified and lawful because the acts being committed against the United States of America by deep state traitors are acts of treason during a time of declared war. It is no coincidence that President Trump has deliberately funded the U.S. Pentagon with its most massive budgets ever conceived. This is because the Pentagon has agreed to run the military arrests of deep state traitors, under the direction of the Commander-in-Chief, President Trump. President Trump, I believe, has decided to go to bat for America and utterly destroy the anti-American deep state crime ring that has been working for years to destroy this nation and end its national sovereignty. This will be Trump's legacy. He may not even run for re-election after 2020, since his entire plan to arrest the traitors and restore the rule of law in America will require him to step aside once certain goals are accomplished, see detailed explanation below. Note that in order to accomplish this, President Trump will need to declare temporary martial law. He will need our support during this time to maintain order and civility across the nation as the arrests and trials of deep state traitors are underway. We should all expect mass violence and chaos from the left, which is following the rules for radicals, a blueprint for communist revolts and violent overthrow attempts of governments. See the documents for yourself. This is all posted on the U.S. Federal Register government website. Here are the links to the documents cited in this comprehensive video. Document number 1, Executive Order 13818, signed December 20, 2017. Blocking the property of persons involved in serious human rights abuse or corruption. This document specifically describes the crimes of Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, James Comey and Robert Mueller under the corruption section, alluding to the Uranium One scandal and Obama's multi-billion dollar money laundering operation that handed nuclear weapons capabilities to Iran. It says that the executive order targets, any foreign person determined by the Secretary of the Treasury, in consultation with the Secretary of State and the Attorney General, to be a current or former government official or a person acting for or on behalf of such an official, who is responsible for or complicit in, or has directly or indirectly engaged in, corruption, including the misappropriation of state assets, the expropriation of private assets for personal gain, corruption related to government contracts or the extraction of natural resources, or bribery. This describes precisely what Clinton, Comey, Mueller, Obama, Brennan, McCabe and others carried out under the Obama regime. These are more than just felony federal crimes, they are acts of treason against the United States of America, carried out during a time of declared war. From that document, here is President Trump's declared national emergency. I therefore determined that serious human rights abuse and corruption around the world constitute an unusual and extraordinary threat to the national security, foreign policy and economy of the United States, and I hereby declare a national emergency to deal with that threat. Document Number 2, Executive Order 13618, signed July 6, 2012 by President Obama. 
Assignment of National Security and Emergency Preparedness Communications Functions This executive order grants the President absolute control over all U.S. media, including Internet tech giants, social media, news networks and news websites. It specifically names Communications that support continuity of government, federal, state, local, territorial and tribal emergency preparedness and response communications, non-military executive branch communications systems, critical infrastructure protection networks, and non-military communications networks, particularly with respect to prioritization and restoration. Document number 3, Executive Order 13825, signed March 1, 2018. 2018 Amendments to the Manual for Courts Martial, United States Although much more difficult to read, this document essentially establishes the preservation of the government's right to prosecute crimes of treason and deep state collusion against America, all of which may be prosecuted via military tribunals under existing U.S. law. This would allow deep state traitors to be arrested by military police and subjected to military trials run by the Pentagon, completely bypassing the corrupt court system which has been deliberately stacked with complicit deep state traitors and resistance judges. To accomplish this, President Trump must announce temporary martial law. For the record, I wholly support this effort to arrest and prosecute the thousands of deep state traitors who have become a cancer upon America. Were you aware that James Comey was a communist? John Brennan, of course, has remained a communist for his entire adult life, and Barack Obama was a radical Muslim who despised America and worked every day to undermine it through a variety of nefarious means including allowing U.S. military encryption technology to be captured by Iran via the U.S. drone GPS spoofing incident. For starters, Barack Obama personally authorized the illegal Spygate spying on Trump campaign officials. Barack Obama also allowed China to hack 21 million U.S. military personnel records, effectively dumping the entire U.S. Pentagon database into the hands of Communist China. For a full detailed explanation of Obama's treasonous crimes against America, watch this extremely important video from Real.Video, it has been banned from YouTube for obvious reasons. Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, John Brennan, Andrew McCabe, Loretta Lynch, Peter Strzok and a long list of other traitors have been conspiring for years to destroy America from within and see it replaced with a communist regime run by authoritarian globalists. Tech giants like Apple, Google and Facebook are all part of the plan, which is exactly why you've seen every one of them working closely with China to roll out authoritarian techno-tyranny infrastructure systems that plan to enslave every citizen of the world, making them powerless and obedient to a globalist technocracy that runs a one-world government. Trump's plan to rescue America from the globalists will require temporary martial law. In order to halt this global dictatorship and defend America against traitors who are working to destroy it, President Trump must carry out the following actions. 1. Achieve the release of the declassified, unredacted deep state documents from within the FBI and DOJ that will reveal the full extent of deep state treason against America. The FBI and DOJ are currently stalling this effort furthering their treason against America and proving they have a lot to hide, Pelosi, Schumer, Schiff and Warner have already committed acts of treason in calling on the FBI and DOJ to defy this presidential order. 2. Invoke the national emergency powers which are constitutionally granted to the executive branch of government. Technically, this already happened in 2017. 3. Invoke President Obama's Executive Order 13618 and seize control of Google, Facebook, CNN, Washington Post and The New York Times to halt the treasonous lies, coordinated election fraud and political coup attempt which is being run by all these traitors of America. 4. Use all controlled communications channels to publicly declare the details of the crimes and criminal actors, which have been committed against America. 
disclose everything to the America people about how their country had been overrun and destroyed from within. 5. Order military police to find and arrest thousands of deep state traitors who have been deliberately undermining America from within. This will include hundreds of people inside the FBI and DOJ, plus hundreds more in the State Department and other agencies. Arrests must also include traitorous, corrupt federal judges who have deliberately undermined America by, for example, blocking Trump's constitutional travel ban to protect America from enemy terrorists. Many traitors will attempt to flee the country, of course, and they will need to be located and brought to justice like former Nazi war criminals. 6. Issue an executive order demanding national voter ID for all future elections. No longer will America tolerate democracy being stolen by the votes of illegals who are granted voting rights by California and other complicit, anti-America states or cities. 7. Suspend elections during the military tribunals, but lay out a timeline for the restoration of elections and nationwide voting, with voter ID in place, to restore the rule of law and give America back to the American people. 8. Deploy the U.S. military along the southern border. Use the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to build the wall. 9. Promise to resign the presidency once the rule of law is restored in America, signaling to the American people that Trump plans to hand over power to the next elected president within a reasonable time period. Americans will rightly be concerned about martial law morphing into a military dictatorship. Trump needs to assure the American people that his job is to destroy the deep state, restore the rule of law, then get out of the way and retire as the greatest U.S. president in history, the president who saved America from traitors and communists. The American people will not tolerate a permanent military dictatorship in America, but they will tolerate temporary martial law needed to drain the swamp, arrest the traitors and restore the rule of law. During this time, by the way, the entire FBI likely needs to be disbanded and rebuilt from scratch. The agency's credibility has been utterly destroyed by the actions of James Comey, Peter Strzok and others. Watch the full video explaining all this in detail.